All right, let's talk variables. Variables is the first topic we're going to be discussing when we're talking about scientific method. And what I want to do, and it doesn't have to be colored, I just have some, I had some pretty paper, is you need to have two pieces of paper. We're going to make a flip book. So this is how you do it. You do it like that, see, where you have about, mm, about an inch or so of paper above. Then you're going to fold it to where, oh, I got it upside down like that. Then you're going to fold it like this to where now I have four flaps, just like that. So there's actually, this is a flap, even though it's the same color. And then once it's all even, get my stapler and staple it at the top. So now I have a flip book. So go ahead and do that. Make that rewind if you need to, and then we will start filling it out. Okay, so we're going to put on the front, we're not going to glue it until we're finished because it'll be easier to, to write in, types of variables. Variables are things that you change in, experiment, in an experiment and things that we measure in an experiment. There's different kinds of variables and that's what we're gonna learn. Now your question that you have to answer in the, in the discussion is what is the difference between an independent and a dependent variable? So right here on one of my flaps, I'm going to write what do I change, and I usually draw like a line above it so I know when I open it, uh, what results, that's the next flap, do I observe, and the next one is what do I keep? the same. So those are our four flaps. So I'm going to open up to what do I change? We're going to write here. If you write very large, you can start on the top and write, but I'm going to start here. Independent variable. A science experiment is something that we're trying to test. There is something that we're going to change in order to test it. That is our independent variable. You don't want to change more than one thing in a science experiment. For example, if I'm trying to test what liquid helps a plant grow faster, I want to make sure that I have the same plant, the same soil, the same pot, the same sunlight. Everything's the same except for the one thing I'm trying to test, which is the liquid I pour into it. That's because what if it's not the liquid that changes it? What if it's the plant if I put a different plant in there? So the independent variable is what you change. It's what the scientists try to compare. the one item which is manipulated or changed. It causes the change independently. meaning it's the only thing that is different. Nothing else has changed, nothing else has changed, so nothing else is a cause. It could be a type of something. It could be an amount of something. And 
And here's an example. We could do a varying, which means different, a varying amount of fertilizer a plant gets. So I would have the same plant, I would have the same amount of water, I would have the same place that it is planted or if it's in a pot. But the only thing I would change is one plant would get one amount of fertilizer, one plant would get another kind of amount of fertilizer, another plant would get another kind, uh, not another kind, they would all be the same, a different amount of fertilizer. So maybe this one gets one cup, that one gets two cups, this one gets three cups, and so forth. You could measure, does the amount of fertilizer affect how a plant grows? And then because you change that, your dependent variable will be what do you observe? Does the plant with more fertilizer grow faster? Remember, pause if you need to. The dependent variable It's the outcome or response. It's the change caused by the manipulation. It depends on what happens forgot where it was. Depend, whatever happens depends on what you change. This is what we record. So if I was doing the fertilizer experiment, I would measure height of plant. That would be my dependent area variable. Does the height of the plant depend on the amount of fertilizer? Or I could say, does the amount of fertilizer affect the height of a plant? Okay, now if you didn't write on the top, write this on the top. If you wrote it on the top, then write it on the bottom, just as long as you have it here. I'm actually going to flip back and go to the top. I'm going to show you a trick. So when you start a science experiment, you need to come up with an observation of the world around you and come up with a question. So the question we could look at to see our variables. So does the amount of fertilizer affect the height of a plant? This is my D, I mean, is my independent variable. It always comes before the effect. So pause and write that down. Now here on top, I want to do, I want to write the same thing. But the second part is a dependent variable. Does the amount of fertilizer affect the height of a plant?
the height of the plant is your dependent variable. The height of the plant depends on how much fertilizer you put in there. So that's a trick for you. Left hand side of the effect is the independent, right hand side of the effect is the dependent. Go ahead and pause and finish co copying that page down, and then we're going to flip over. What do I keep the same? Okay. What you keep the same is called the control. Okay. That would be the same kind of soil, the same plant, the same pot or location where they're going to be grown, the same amount of water. Everything else that has not changed, the one thing that's changed is the independent variable. Everything else that stays the same is the controlled variables. And then there's something called the control, which would be without any of the changes. So we would have one without any fertilizer to make sure that it's not the plant that's having a problem or... Um, that it's not the pot um, or the soil or things like that. So there's always one without what's called a control. Things scientists try to keep constant. They're observed and controlled carefully as much as they can. It's a way to make the experiment fair. And some examples in ours was the same type of soil, same type of plant, the same container. So those are our controlled variables. So now we're going to close and we are going to glue it here on the back of your vocabulary. So your vocabulary words are here and we're going to glue it on the back. Now we're going to do a couple examples on this side. I'm going to give you a couple situations and we are going to identify the independent, the dependent, and the controlled. I'm going to give you one to finish and submit as an assignment. Now I said testable question. In order to have an experiment, you have to have a question that can be testable. Is there something that you can measure in your experiment? If there is some, not something that you can measure in your experiment, then it's not testable. You have to come up with a way to be able to test it. Okay, our first one is will liquid, I'm actually going to divide it in half, will liquid fertilizer make grass grow greener than granulated 
like ground up fertilizer. Remember how I said effect make is also one of those words. So we look on the left hand side of the word make and see what our independent variable is. Will liquid fertilizer make grass grow greener? So we're looking to see the liquid versus granulated fertilizer. We are measuring how green it is. So my independent variable, I'm gonna put IV. My independent variable is the kind of fertilizer. My dependent variable is the grass color. And then if you think about the controlled variables, we would have to have the same plant, soil, location, pot, etc. That's one example. Another example does changing the wing shape of a paper airplane to make it more narrow affect the distance it will fly. So on the left hand side of the effect is just changing the wing shape effect. So my independent variable is going to be wing shape. My dependent variable is going to be the distance flown. The controlled variables will be the paper that they use, the location, the height, that they throw it from, those all have to be the same. All right, now your example. Is, how does heat affect the motion of water molecules. You're going to look, there's our effect. You're going to look for the independent variable, the dependent variable, and think if you can think of some things that need to be controlled the same. This is what you're going to submit as your assignment.